Hey bird dogs, so I just wanted to talk about like basically creative money. So people don't really understand the concept of money or currency itself. Money is literally just a tool that you can use. Like money money isn't what you want. What you want is the freedom, the lifestyle, the assets and all that stuff in order to do what you want to do. Not even in a selfish way, like most billionaires like have their own charities and stuff like that. And you can't do that with if you are negative in your bank account. So you have to get creative with money. So we're in 2019 now, it's February 1st. And it's just like so many different ways that you can make money. Um, even if you don't feel like you're all that creative. If you know a lot about something, you don't need to be creative to do what I'm doing right now. Make a video about it. Like, if you know a lot about- I, I watch uh, videos about avocado plants because I want to eventually grow an avocado tree. If you know a lot about avocado plants, you can make an entire YouTube channel and blog and Facebook page and Facebook group and Instagram page and Twitter page about avocados because that's your specialty, that you have an avocado farm, you grew up with avocados, um, you love, you know different recipes, you know how to make the best avocado toast, like, literally, your life could revolve around your love of avocados, and you can make money off of it. Like, you have, to, like, like <laughs> you get a thousand subscribers on YouTube, of course, with the watch time and everything, but then your videos become monetized. You get a few thousand followers on Instagram, and then you can refer people to your blog. Your blog can have ads on it. You can get paid from the ads on your blog. You can get sponsorships from different avocado companies or different um, companies who want to sponsor you to make recipes with their ingredients. There's so many different things you can do just because you love avocados. So let's just say you don't want to get in front of a camera, you don't want to do that. It, but if you listen to Gary Vee, like you ha if you're if you're going to be a business owner, you have to do that anyway. Or even if you have a side gig, like you pretty much have to do that anyway. Like if you let's just say you do what Gary Vee does, right? And you flip um garage sale stuff. What if you had like um not a bidding thing. I mean, I guess you could bid, make a bidding thing, but you have an Instagram page where you make it called like hidden treasures or something and you do shipping, whatever, and then you just sell stuff. You just sell cool stuff and it's, let's just say it's niche. Let's say you have a niche, niche of cars. You collect and buy cars. So let's just say you have a collection of the classic Hot Wheels that came out and whenever was the first few years that it came out and they're vintage and you like you post a picture of it you post really good pictures of it and you say bidding will go down on this product on eBay on February 2nd tomorrow and then you get a thousand likes on it you get a few comments saying I'm definitely bidding on it yeah but yeah then you release your Instagram story the next day and you do a new post when everything is live then those thousand likes, potentially thousand likes, and those few comments are gonna go to eBay, they're gonna start bidding, and you just made money off of selling cars. So if you like Hot Wheel cars, all you did was invest maybe, let's just say you bought the cars for like $2 or something, and then you sold them, because they're vintage, you sold them for like 50 or $100. I don't know the value of Hot Wheels, so you can't quote me on that, I'm just giving an example. It applies to anything, like shoes, real cars, like anything like that but let's just say Hot Wheel cars and you made 90 something dollars off of selling cars that you bought for two dollars okay like that you using the Instagram algorithm or using your Instagram following like there's so many things we can do especially with the internet nowadays like it's really no excuse to not have money but like let's really talk about creative money why would you need creative money? Well, as you can see, the typical get a regular, go to college, get a job, is not working anymore. Unless you're making six figures coming straight out of college, it's not working anymore. And even in that case, a lot of people are lacking life work balance, work life balance, whatever it's called. If you're happy with the amount of time you're working and you're happy with that amount of time that you're at home, that's in balance with a lot of six figure jobs. 
And so if, uh, but any, regardless, if you're not making the money you really need, um, in order to like sustain the lifestyle that you want and make sure it's the lifestyle that you want and not the lifestyle you have to impress other people. But if you don't have the money to have the lifestyle that you want, then I mean, you got to do something. Uh, getting a new job sure but how many jobs are gonna how many jobs do you need in order to make the money that you want if you either don't have a degree or the degree you have is kind of useless like in my personal opinion a lot of degrees or things that you can get a master's degree in are pointless and there's no direct job market for them i don't know why they even have them as degree options because especially in the arts like, unless you're, like, backstage tech people, you don't really need a degree. You don't need one. You, Of course, you can get one if you want one. But you can't have one of those arts degrees and then expect to just automatically be given a six-figure job. The only way that could work is if you're interning for Hollywood theaters. Or, I mean, not, you don't necessarily have to go to Hollywood, but, like... You build up your resume working on plays, you're working on movie sets, you're working on short films, you build that resume up and you have that experience which you don't even need to have a degree for and then you send it to big producers and then you can go to Hollywood, then you can go to New York and all those places to do big things but even then you didn't even need the degree. What really got you to where you were at was doing the internships and maybe acting as a, what's, what's it called? acting as a um, a background character in some of the scenes and whatnot and all that experience is what's getting you um the gigs and the opportunities to make six-figure income in the arts industry but that's just a tangent anyway um i'll just use real estate for example real quick let's just say that you want to get into real estate but you don't have the money to but you don't have the money to like invest into a property that's fine what you can get, get out of this. <laughs> what you can get into. Hey, edit you, that out. I can't. Oh crap. Go away. Um, you can get into creative real estate investing. Where there's many options to do that with zero money down. You can get into wholesaling. You can get into lease options. You can get into subject two. You can get into bird dogging. There's so many different ways to get into money with actual no money down, versus putting down five, ten, fifteen, twenty percent on a property that you really don't know what to do with it yet. So you can cr just create money out of thin air. Um, I mean. Just, I'm just gonna try to throw some stuff out there, man, because like people are so close minded and they really think that they have to work hard for money. Of course, you have to work hard, like, you have to work for less than minimum wage for yourself for quite a while. Speaking from experience, I made probably $200 total, $300 maybe, um, off the online business I created. Um, the, the bird dog experts is what I'm talking about. And now I make roughly like $75 a month from it. And the more people I get into my group, the more money I'll make monthly, which is cool. But like, it took a lot of work in the pause. beginning. I can't pause. Like I have a minute left. Why? Why? Okay. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Okay. Did you have? To? Okay. Maybe I can't edit this. Okay. I can't edit hey, this. Hey guys. Oh my God. Okay. Um. Dang it! I'm wasting so much time. I only wanted to spend 10 minutes on this and only have 30 seconds left. 30 seconds. Dude. My god, you suck. Anyway, um... Creative real estate investing. And then I was getting to my next point, which was... You know what? I lost it. But anyway. Oh yeah, people are so close-minded into thinking that you have to work hard for money. And of course you have to put up the upfront work. But... Passive income is really what's going to get you financial freedom. And that's really what you want to get to. Financial freedom is not being lazy. Financial freedom is having the option to do work. Some people, I love doing clerical work. So once I get to a certain point, I don't mind going to my uh, state representative's office and being like, hey, can I help you out with this next event? You don't have to charge me. Uh, can I do pictures for this event? You don't have to charge me. I want to go to my church and be like, Hey, I want to do this thing. You don't have to charge me or I don't have to charge you. Like I don't you don't have to give me any money. 
Like, I want to do those sorts of things. Of course, we still need people who are like cashiers or whatever, but that's really where financial responsibility comes in. And that's why a lot of people say like, you know, those jobs are for teenagers and things like that because they really are. They're very simple, basic skills that you don't need any special, like, knowledge or anything for all you need to know is basic math and the computer does that for you now plus we have debit cards so you won't even almost need cashiers uh soon in the next few decades there's a lot of jobs that are just replacing people because machines can do them and if that's making you upset because you feel like you won't have a job you really need to really take a look at yourself because you shouldn't be upset at the fact that life is progressing human race is progressing you have to progress too that's what that means so you have to get creative and create things that will create you passive income for one and find what makes you happy because of course you know you guys know there's a bunch of rich people who are depressed they kill themselves all that they know how to make the money but they don't know how to make themselves happy so i mean yeah I, just a little thing about money just to get you out of that little typical uh closed-minded thought process that uh, you have to work hard for money there's a difference between working hard and working smart you have to work hard in the beginning so then it goes you start working smarter later so yeah i hope that that kind of gave you a little bit of insight um I'm just gonna throw this out there I'm hoping that this or maybe next week's video is like the last video that's in this format. I really want to get back to um, my typical type of video so I can provide you guys with quality content instead of having to do straight run throughs without um, editing. I do like jump cuts a lot better. I like how they look anyway, but I do think that some people are liking these type of like random raw videos, but I don't like it. So I'm going to go back to doing what I like to do. Um, my hair looks okay. It looks very okay. It's I. But anyway, um, I hope you guys are having a great year. Uh, January was fantastic for me. Today's the 1st of February. It's Friday. We all have jobs. I'm not even going to continue that. You guys have a great day.